Hey guys, welcome to the channel. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. It doesn't cost you anything, but it's really gonna help this channel out and uh, obviously help it to grow. Now this uh, video is supposed to be the actual building of the chamber, but uh, one or two things happened and during the making of the chamber, I actually realized that I think I've made a mistake on the creation of the nozzle. So version one's nozzle, I think there's a little bit of a problem on it. So uh, let's go over to the workbench and let's go over that. Okay guys, while making the chamber, I actually realized that uh, there's a bit of a possible mistake or error on this version one of the nozzle, and that is this space over here. And I realized that the actual plunger will not be able to extend into this part of the nozzle. And even if I made it so that it could extend into the nozzle, where the chamber meets there and there, there's gonna be a, a section there which could cause interference and reduce the lifespan of the plunger. So if the plunger then only went to the top here, and stopped, I would have this whole entire space here, which is basically dead space, which would first have to fill up with plastic. Then obviously when you press the plastic down, that would extend out, but you'd always have this section of plastic wasted sitting in your nozzle over there. And uh, I don't think that's gonna be a very efficient way of doing it. So instead of that, um, I designed a version two of the nozzle and if you look at version two compared to, compared to version one over here, all I've done basically is uh, taken this um, cone shape part of the nozzle and I've moved it up to the top here. So when the plunger stops over here, um, the only plastic that'll basically be in the nozzle will be at the top over there and obviously directed down into the um, mold over here. So you'd have this section here. Then you can make the chamber basically as big as you want to make it and the plunger would stop there. There wouldn't be any, in, any interference there and uh, yeah, wouldn't restrict the moving of the plastic down the actual nozzle. So let's head over to the lathe and make this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is face off the bolt, which I've already cut off and it's in a nut in the chuck over here. Uh, so the bolt, nut, cut off, chuck in the chuck and then I'm just gonna face it off first. Okay, I got my center drill mounted in the chuck. Okay, the next operation will be to drill through the bolt with a three millimeter drill bit. Put a bit of loop on there. To get the cone shape of the top of the nozzle where the plastic will be then directed into the actual three millimeter hole, I'm gonna use a 20 millimeter drill bit and uh, just the shape of the front of the drill will create that shape. Now just to finish it off, I'm gonna set the slide to 51 degrees and then just finish it off slightly. Okay, to the next part of the project, I've set up this little copy jig over here. I was gonna create something quite fancy and then decided to uh, just go with a simplistic view or simplistic method. No need for a complex jig here. So I've just got two uh, square bars here, basically held together with this vice uh, grip over here. I have sharpened the one over here a little bit, but it's not really necessary, it's just to visually allowed to see easier and then obviously the cutter on the other side and the way i'm going to line this up is that uh, you just pull it out like that and when this side here touches the highest point of the bolt over here in other words these outer corners here it should line up with exactly the same point over there so that those two parts are exactly on the same level. 
then as I basically turn this, it'll start turning that in there in relation to the shape of this. Never done it before, but uh, let's give it a try. Okay, so that wasn't actually working and the reason being is where it clamps onto the two bars clamped together it was creating a bit of a pivot point there and the pointer was actually moving a bit so i've obviously just set it correctly and then now i've welded it in place Okay, now after making the nozzle using that uh, part copying or duplicating part, did it actually duplicate it correctly? I mean, if you look at it like that, they look pretty much the same. But the short answer is no, it didn't do it exactly as intended. I'm not sure, I'm not 100% sure why that is. I'll have to uh, play around it again if I ever make it like this. I think the biggest mistake was obviously the referencing of the part you can see over here. I don't know if it's that clear. But over here, this is the original version 1 nozzle. This is a lot um, bigger, this section over here, compared to that. So uh, if I just measure that, actually. That is 5.6, uh, and this is uh, 4.5. So that's, that's, that's quite a lot of uh, two mil difference over there. And then <clears throat> if you actually look at the actual nozzles themselves or the part in the front here that goes into the mold, that's also not 100% uh, the same. The original nozzle is a lot higher and the other one is a lot lower. But uh, as I haven't really used this before on a mold, I don't think it's going to be an issue. I think the issue came in here was when I obviously made it and then I took a file and uh, smoothed this out. I may have inadvertently done it too much and uh, resulted in that. So you'll see, I don't know if you can actually see that, there is a little bit of a mismatch there. I don't know if we can measure that. Let's go 5.5. and six millimeters. So it's actually not too bad, the nozzle height. It's actually 5.66, six, so it's 0.3 of a millimeter, the difference here. But other than that, that's it. And, I'll, and yeah, the thread's still the same because that's the way you make it. But okay, there's version one. As I mentioned in the diagram, you can see it easier. You've got all this dead space on the inside here. And version two, it's got, it actually stops on the top here, so the, the, the plunger will stop here. Plastic will be pushed down, it'll only have that narrow little chamber there where the plastic will obviously be wasted, not this huge amount over there. So guys, that's the version 2 nozzle. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think compared version 1 compared to version 2. Do you agree with me? I'm going to have all that wasted plastic sitting in the nozzle and uh, it's basically going to be dead space over there. They do refer to some of it as a cushion, but uh, that's definitely not a cushion, that's dead spacing as the plunger will not be able to reach into there and uh, push it all the way through. And version 2 obviously addresses that, so I think it's going to be a much better design. So guys, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.